Well, I mentioned those tornadoes that we saw Sunday across central Texas. Again, we were bringing this information to you live on air, but four confirmed tornadoes out of this. We'll start down with the one that uh, moved over parts of Falls and Milam County or just stayed inside the Falls Milam County line near the community of Burlington. If you know this, that's on Highway 77. Touched down on the east side of Burlington, 80 mile per hour winds. We had video of this on air on Sunday on the ground for about a minute distance, a little less than a quarter mile and with about 40 yards. Then in Limestone County on the north side of Lake Limestone near Personville, we also had an EF0 tornado. A little weaker with this one, 75 mile per hour winds. Part of the reason is because they really couldn't get into the open field to survey it, but they have video evidence of this touching down, so rated an EF0. And then in Freestone County, a couple tornadoes centered around the community of Dew. EF0 tornado on the southwest of Dew, 80 mile per hour winds with that one, and on the ground for a little over a mile in two minutes as well. And then on the east side of Dew, this one actually damaged a home, winds to 80 miles per hour and a distance of about a mile on that one as it was on the ground for two minutes. Again, that was with these two tornadic circulations, so we now have confirmed tornadoes with that one. The third tornadic circulation, that produced a large tornado south of Madisonville. National Weather Service in Houston should survey that today. We'll bring you the data on that, but that was the largest tornado we saw there on Sunday. Live Radar Network, quiet now, no tornadic stuff out there, just clouds. A little bit of fog. It's another murky morning with visibilities dropping below five miles at times. So not going to be the thick fog that bothers you, but it will be something you have to monitor on that morning commute. 60s on the way. Those dew points near the 60s as well. The difference today is we have a southeast wind, and that southeast wind will draw up that Gulf moisture today, pushing us back into the low to mid 80s and keeping things breezy. So a warmer and a muggier day on the way today. 86 in Waco, 82 in Hewitt today. Down in Bell County, we'll call for 83. Temple, Belton, and Harker Heights and across the rest of central Texas. Looking at those mid-80s staying pretty common. Again, we'll watch for thunderstorms to develop to the north today. Some of those may roll into our northwestern counties, but it's a less than 20% for the most part. And then tomorrow, we'll watch for thunderstorms developing down the south at first, and then a complex of thunderstorms trying to develop and come in from the west. That's more likely overnight into Thursday, and that could bring with it severe weather as well, though that tornado threat looks lower than what we saw this weekend. The other threat we're going to be monitoring is all the rain that could be on the way. Two to three inches of rain possible here as we go through this week and on into the weekend. So could see flooding issues once again. We'll get a brief cool down on Friday with a cold front and then we start to warm up again closer to 90 next week with more of that May-like weather on the way, isolated thunderstorms each day, and then the Brazos Valley more of the same mid 80s and maybe 90s next week. I'm Epiphany Lachey, your neighborhood reporter in Temple with an update of a developing